Welcome to Back to the Basics, the series where I show you how to do cool stuff related to microservers and modding. And today I'm going to show you how to self-host a microserver without the need of port forwarding. Now in today's video I'm going to show you three different methods. The first method actually requires you to host a server on your own PC and then we're going to use a piece of software to make it so others from outside of our home network can actually join that server. The other two methods don't actually require you to host a server, instead they will allow you to host a single player world that others outside of your home network can then join. For the second method, only you have to install the mod and other players can join with an IP that you give them. And for the third method, all of your friends will need to install the mod in order to join. Every single method does have its own benefits, so we're just gonna cover them all. So let's start with the first method. For this first method, you will need a microserver running on your own PC, aka you need to self-host a server. Now if you don't have a microserver running on your own PC yet, and you also have no clue how to do it, I've made a dedicated video about that a few days ago. I will leave a link as a card on this video, so you can check it out for yourself and set up a server. It only takes a few minutes, after that come back to this video and we can now continue. So the piece of software we're gonna be using for this is called playit.gg. Now what is playit.gg? Good question. In their own words, playit.gg is a global proxy that allows anyone to host a Minecraft server without port forwarding. We use tunneling. Only the server needs to run the program, not every player. And then they got this fun little graph that kind of shows you how it works. Anyway, we simply want to go ahead and download it. So click on download. After that, you want to choose the appropriate download for your platform. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows installer. After the download is complete, you simply want to execute it, it will take you through a very basic setup wizard. Simply click on next and click on next again. After that, click on install, wait for a little bit and you're good to go. Now after this, the playit.gg program is installed on your PC. If not, you should be able to find it in your start menu. But what you want to do is simply launch the program. And after launching the program, you should see something like this. Visit link to setup and then we get a link. So what do you want to do now? Well, open this link. So simply open that link into our browser and this is the page it will take us to. And over here, you need to log in with your playit.gg account. Now if you intend on using playit.gg more frequently, I would highly recommend going to create an account and filling in your information. That way your settings are always saved. If you don't plan on using this a whole lot, you can also simply make a guest account, which is what I will be doing for now. Now after that, you simply gotta wait for a bit. It will say waiting for agent to connect and this can take a while. For me, it took about a minute, but eventually step one and two should be complete. Step three will take a bit as well, but eventually it should also complete automatically. Now do make sure that while you're doing all of this, your micro server is actually running locally, because if it's not, it might not work for you. Now eventually step one, two and three should all say done. And that means there's only one more thing left to do, which is creating a tunnel. So we're simply gonna click on here and this will take us to the add tunnel page. Now player.gg has a few premium plans and if you want to use those, feel free to. For most purposes though, player.gg is 100% free to use. So what you want to do here is you simply want to go to use shared IP and then you want to make sure you have global any cost selected. All the other options are locked behind premium, but global any cost works really, really well. After that, where it says tunnel type, you simply want to select your game. So in my case, I'll be going for Java edition, but if you want to host a Bedrock server or a Valheim server or Terraria, that is also something you can totally do. But I'm going to go for Java and after that I'm going to click on add tunnel. And there we go. Let it load. Let it do its thing. And bam, <laughs> we're done. It is, it is literally that easy. So right now, our server is up. This is the local address that my Minecraft server is running on. It is now connected to playit.gg's network. And for me, it is now connected to a data center in Frankfurt, which I guess is the data center closest to me as I live in the Netherlands. And then over here, we get a shareable address. And this address we can share with our friends. Because you will see when I go into Minecraft, I click on multiplayer, I add a server and fill in that address, the Minecraft server will pop up and I can now get in. <laughs> Wait, why is there a skeleton? No. <laughs> okay, now I'm going. I'm, goodbye. We're not doing this, Mr. 
Okay, he's burning. That arrow looks painful. Anyway, <laughs> but this IP you can share to your friends and they can now also join your local server. But now let's go over two more methods you can use that don't actually require you to host a server on your own PC. Instead, you will be able to simply host a single player world, which is also pretty cool. So for the second method, we're going to use a mod called E4MC. Now, what is this mod all about? It is essentially a mod that allows you to open a LAN server, something you can do by default in Minecraft with a single player world, but now you can make it so that it actually opens to the public and you will get an IP address that you can then share with others so they can hop onto your world. Now to install this mod, you will need one of the following mod loaders installed, Fabric, Forge, Neoforge or Quilt. If you don't know how to to install a mod loader, I've made a separate dedicated video showing you how to do that. I will leave a link to a card, so I would highly recommend checking that video out first. And now it is time to download E4MC. So simply click on download, choose your version of Minecraft, and after that your preferred mod loader. For me that is Fabric, then we click on download, and there we go. After that, drag the mod into your mods folder and reboot your game. And after that, crazy enough, you're almost done. So all we want to do now is click on single player, join a world, this can be any world, just a single player world that you want to play together with some friends. And then as soon as we're locked in, you want to click on escape. After that, open to LAN and we're simply going to open a LAN server. So what do you want the game mode to be? Do you want commands to be allowed or not? And after that, we're simply going to click on start LAN world. Bam. First it will say local game hosted on ports and then it gives you a port number. And normally that is the only message that would appear. But now because we have E4MC installed, it will give us a second message that says local game hosted on domain. And then we get a beautiful domain <laughs> called kidneyshell.de.e4mc.link. <laughs> so the DE, I think that means it is once again being routed through a German data center and Germany would be close to me so now we can simply click to copy send this to our friends on for example discord and they can now join this single player world through this domain now that is pretty cool <laughs> and so insanely easy to use. Now let's go over the third method. And this method unfortunately requires a bit more work from all of your friends. So it's completely up to you if you want to use it yes or no. It is of course the essential mod. Now something that might be a plus side about essential mod is that some of your friends might be running it already. It is a very very popular mod for Minecraft. The free world hosting feature is not the only feature it has though. It also has in-game cosmetics that you unfortunately have to pay for but on the other hand it also has things like friend lists and groups and messages. So it kind of depends on who you are and what kind of stuff you're interested in. If you just want to host a server or a world this is probably not for you but if you want to have like a group chat with your friends and you want to see when your friends are online and then you can simply invite them to your world stuff like that then essential might be worth checking out so what you want to do is simply click on download and it will start downloading an installer straight away after that we're simply gonna double click and then the essential installer will pop up so let's click on get started after that you will need to select what launcher you want to install the essential mod for so if you're using a third-party launcher then it could also be compatible. So I'm simply gonna click on Minecraft Launcher. Then you can either choose an installation. So I can install it on an already existing Forge or Fabric installation if I want. I can also just click on New Installation and this will then install the mod loader for you, which makes this all really, really easy. So I'm simply gonna create a new installation and install Essential. And there we go, we're good to go. Now when we boot the Minecraft launcher, you will see in the bottom left, the essential mod has been successfully installed. Now we can simply click on play. And we're in! Look at that! The Sensual Mod has been successfully installed. And now you might be wondering, Kasai, how do I host a world? Well, you simply want to click on Host Worlds. <laughs> After that, you need to accept this, click on Continue, and then we can make a choice between worlds we already have, or we can simply create a new world. After you're in the world, you can simply click on Escape, and when you hear click on Invite, it will first give you a warning that your IP will be visible in the network logs, which of course it is. That is how 
how networking works. So we're going to click the checkbox, proceed, and then we can now set the basic world settings like the game mode, difficulty, cheats. And if your resource pack should be shared with your friends. So that's pretty cool. And then we can click on next again and go invite players. So here we have all of my essential friends. We can just invite them just like that. Click on done. And now they will have received an invite to join your world. And that is how easy it can be. And that's it. You're done. And now that we've covered all three methods, that's going to be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.